Take two. Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to week nine of general psychology. I'm making this short video to guide you through the week. So um, this week, our topics are psychological disorders and therapy. These are two chapters, two chapters in our course textbook. And I'm sure you're going to learn so much by reading those chapters. Um, the first chapter, you're learning what a psychological disorder is. You'll be introduced to the DSM, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, which is kind of like the Bible of therapy and clinical psychology. It has all the disorders you could possibly be diagnosed with. And so you'll learn a little bit more about that. Learn about schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, major depressive disorder, you know, all those popular ones and some ones that aren't so popular too. So read in our textbook all about psych disorders and also read about therapy because therapy is how to treat the different, you know, mental illnesses or psychological disorders. So you're going to read those two chapters. And don't worry if you don't get if you don't finish reading them this week. We're going to continue this topic again next week. So uh, this week, hopefully, you'll you'll read at least one of those two chapters. Now, how can you earn points this week? You can earn up to 120 points. And how are you going to earn those points? By participating in our ninth discussion. That's right. This discussion is all about psych disorders and therapy. You have a choice of answering some, excuse me, some questions or watching some videos. And I hand select, I hand pick these videos. So, you know, they're good videos. They're educational, they're informative, and they're interesting. So go ahead and do an excellent job on the discussion board. Now, just like I say every single week, some of you really are nailing it. You get it. Thumbs up. Your response, both initial and replied, appears is complete, correct, clear, concise, and creative. And that's how you get it full credit. If you've lost points, you probably lost points because you probably didn't give a substantive post. Either your initial post was excellent, but then your replies to peers was, you know, so-so. Or you maybe you only replied to one class member, or maybe you didn't reply to any class members. But in order to get the full credit, you have to do the full work. So that's 20 points. Um, the next way to earn points is through uh, completing the group project. Now, some of the groups are doing an excellent job and you're, breezing right along and you're having fun and you're like this was good i never knew that having being a part of a group for a class could be so much fun could be so informative and some of you are like this project sucks the teacher shouldn't make us do this this is an online class i want to be by myself okay either experience you're having that's not my business i'm here to help you learn to help you grow and one of the benefits of participating in this group project is you get to hone your interpersonal and interpersonal intelligence that's right. You get to work on your emotional intelligence. You get to learn a little bit more about yourself and a little bit more about others and working with others. So that's an added benefit in addition to the research you did on your topic. So now when it comes to this project, I grade the group as a whole. So you want to make sure you're connecting with your group members and you're working together and you present to me a seamless, coherent presentation because that's how you're going to maximize your points. I've included a rubric in the assignment. So I would say, look at the rubric. It tells you exactly how you're, how you're graded. Very similar to the discussion board. You want your presentation to be complete, correct, clear, concise, and creative. Also, you want to collaborate. All those C's. By complete, I mean you have identified your topic and you thoroughly discussed it within the allotted time. You only need about 15 or 16 slides, not including the cover page and the reference page. But these slides shouldn't be cluttered. They should have content that's easy to follow. You want to include images and bullet points. Um, if you can use in-text citations, that's a bonus. That's the uh, correct part. This will show that you where you got your information, and it gives some credibility to what you're talking about. You are having a reference slide at the end, which again shows where you got your information, and you know this is kind of a, a testament to how accurate the information that you're sharing. So complete, correct. By clear, uh, use a pattern that's not too busy in terms of the slideshow. If you're doing a video, make sure there's not a lot of background noise. But, you know, if you want to proofread and find any errors and fix them, try to turn in your final draft. Um, complete, correct, clear, concise. You don't want to turn in 50 slides for this 15-minute presentation, okay? This is a 15-minute presentation, the equivalent of a 15-minute presentation. So if you need 20, 30 slides, okay, I get it. 
but you really shouldn't need more than, you know, a decent amount. Um, I'm suggested 15, but some people may need 20, not including the cover slide and the references. That's okay, but you don't want to go overboard and have like 50 slides because what that says to me is you didn't narrow down your topic. Okay, so you, you, you know, you want to go deep. You want to impress me, impress your class members. That's the goal. Complete, correct, clear, concise. By creative, I mean don't just go through the motions. Put some effort into it, okay? Put some effort into it. Let me see your personality, you know? I try. I really try. Um, some of you have noticed that these questions on the discussion board are interesting. They're, I give some, you know, basic questions too, but I come up with some fun ways to explore the topic. Why? Because I put some effort into it. And I expect you to put some effort into this presentation too, okay? And by collaboration, work together. Some of you are still resisting thinking you're going to turn in your own individual um, individual PowerPoint and you're going to turn in five different PowerPoints. Well, all of you are going to lose points if you do that, okay? This is a group project, group project, not solo project, group project, okay? So have fun with it, all right? I'm here to help you. I'm available Monday through Thursday. I have office hours in the morning. And I check my email usually twice a day. Also check, check the questions thread. So if you post a question to the questions thread, I will see it and I will get back with you. Um, that's how you earn your points this week. The group project is worth 100 points. And the discussion is worth nine, uh, excuse me, discussion nine is worth 20 points. So that's 120 points. That's what's going on. Our topics are psychological disorders and therapy. And the two assignments are worth a total of 120 points. If you have questions, comments, compliments, or concerns, go ahead and hit me up. I'm here for you. Um, in the comment section here on YouTube, you can go ahead and drop me a line and let me know if there's something you would like me to consider. Um, I was making videos on content initially, but the you know only some people watch them, and I've been trying to include other videos that I think are very informative and very useful and very helpful. So, you know, I've been trying to give you all the tools you need to succeed, but I'm here for you and I'm willing to try harder. Okay. All right. That's it. Atuta Learn.